Welcome to setting up your Blonder Tongue HDE 8C QAM for the DirectTV receiverless solution. Blonder Tongue's HDE 8C QAM with option 2 provides an economical DirectTV HD solution for the institution market. This head end based system employs watermark protected QAM channels for program distribution. The system does not require any special audio processing, hospitality grade TV sets, or set top receivers at the viewer's location as compared to other methods. Direct TV approved markets for this solution are hospital, non hospital healthcare facilities, senior and assisted living, on campus student dorms, prisons, RV parks, and campsites. You may jump ahead to any step by clicking on the step or the links in the description page on YouTube. Before we get started, let's make sure you have everything you need. Step 1. Materials for Setup You will need to gather materials, some of which are included in the HDE 8C QAM carton for each of the 8 channels deployed plus one spare receiver. H25 Direct TV Satellite Receivers Please note, the receivers must have software versions X8CA, X912, or equivalent capable of allowing external device control. Swim module, direct TV Ethernet cable adapter, diplexer, L-band splitters, 10100 unmanaged 5-port Ethernet switch, 10100 unmanaged 16-port Ethernet switch. Component AV, RJ45, and coax cables as required. The following items are on a system basis regardless of how many units are being deployed. PC or notebook with web browser. Cisco Merrick Z1 router. Contact your local DirecTV distributor for details on configuration. Now connect the equipment as displayed in the following diagram. You may pause this video to examine the diagram. For further information, please refer to the instruction manuals available online. In order to properly match the H25 Direct TV satellite receivers to the HDE 8C QAM component inputs, please do the following. Locate the receiver label in the plastic bag supplied with the encoder. Find the receiver number labeled on the first receiver. Write the last four digits of the receiver's number on label 1 and place on the front of the receiver. Repeat for all nine satellite receivers. Now connect each receiver's 10-pin DIN component breakout cable to the corresponding encoder input. Make sure that receiver number 1 is connected to number 1 component input on the encoder. Repeat this process for the remaining receivers number 2 through 9. Step 2. Communication Setup Local or remote communication with the unit is only possible through a GUI-based menu via any standard web browser. Before you can communicate with the unit, you must configure your computer's IP address to be in the same subnet as the unit's default IP address. To do so, follow these steps. Plug one end of an Ethernet cross cable that is provided in the hardware bag to the unit's rear panel RJ45 interface, marked Control 10100. Plug the other end of the cable into your computer. The factory default IP address of the unit is 172.16.70.1. To be able to communicate with the unit, you must first change your computer's IP address from its current address to 172.16.70.2. If you are using an XP operating system, here are the proper steps for this procedure. On your computer, open the control panel. Double click on the network connections. Right click on local area connection, then click on the properties. A dialog box entitled local area connection properties will appear. In this box, double click on the internet protocol. TCP IP. A dialog box entitled Ethernet Protocol Properties will appear. Select and use the following IP address option and enter the following address. 
IP address 172.16.70.2, subnet mask 255.255.255.0. No need to enter a value for the default gateway. Click OK to close the dialog box. Now your computer is ready to communicate with the unit. Step 3. HDE 8C QAM Login. Open a web browser on your computer and enter the following URL address. Enter the following case-sensitive factory default username and password, then click on the Submit button. Username is Admin, password is Pass. Step 4. Monitoring configuration. Monitoring configuration of the HDE 8C QAM is achieved via a series of web pages. Once properly logged in, the browser will go to the Status subtab. Step 5. Input config. Note, before we start the HDE 8C QAM configuration, make sure all the DirecTV H25 set-top receivers have been authorized to stream programming. Now click the Input Config subtab. Under the Input Device column, click on the pull-down window for input number 1. You should see all nine receiver numbers. Select the receiver number that matches the receiver number as labeled in an earlier step. Repeat this process for all the remaining inputs. The name field is not available for this application. Note, if all nine receiver numbers are not displayed, check all the connections, verify the receivers are authorized, and have been configured for external access. Please note, the receivers must have software versions X8CA, X912, or equivalent capable of allowing external device control. Spare configuration. Select the input being used, component or composite, for the spare receiver. Now click the Save button located at the bottom of the page. Step 6. Set-top box configuration. Select the set-top box control and then channel config subtab. Enter the desired program number for each H25 set-top receiver. Click Save. Step 7. Encoder settings. The default video and audio encoder parameters are recommended for this application. Therefore, no changes are required. However, if the user's desire is to customize these settings, please consult the instruction manual for further details. Step 8. Transport Stream Configuration. Start by selecting the Output and TS Config subtab. In the multiplexed MPTS Output Configuration section, no changes are required from the default settings. The short name should be a descriptive name of the program having a maximum of seven alphanumeric characters. The major minor channel numbers are the virtual channels that the television will display. Now click the Save button to apply these changes. If an error message appears due to a PID or program number duplication, the error must be corrected before any changes will be saved. Step 9. Quam Output Go to the main output Quam tab. Set the output channel frequency of the first channel. The remaining three channels will be automatically set based on sequential RF carrier frequencies above the first channel. Verify the output control is on for all channels. Combine the RF output of each of the HDE 8C QAMs with the other head end channels and ensure that all signal levels are properly balanced. Step 10. Verify setup. The status page is a quick and easy way to review all the major encoder settings. Additionally, the status of the video and audio inputs can be checked by viewing the LEDs on the encoder's front panel. More features. Spare operations. The HDE 8C QAM features automatic sparing of a non-working or disconnected receiver. If the HDE 8C detects the loss of video from any of the one of the eight primary receivers, 
the encoder will automatically switch to the spare receiver and tune to the same channel as the receiver it has replaced. If the spare receiver cannot successfully tune to the required channel for any reason, the non-working or disconnected receiver will not be spared, leaving the spare available. Audio Video LEDs in Spare Mode When the spare mode is enabled, both audio and video LEDs on the spare unit and its user assigned replacement will be blinking green. The LED indicators will return to their previous state when the mode is disabled. Once the spare receiver has been activated, no additional receivers can be spared. After the defective receiver is replaced, the user must manually go to the input config tab and allocate the new receiver in place of the defective one. Next, one must click on the disabled button on the spare receiver control to release the spare receiver so it can be available for future sparing. Closed caption operation. The following additional settings and connections are required for closed caption operation. Verify the closed caption setting is enabled on the set-top receiver H25. Connect the composite video output of each set-top receiver to the corresponding HDE 8C QAMS CC input. The closed caption setting on the HDE 8C QAMS are located on the encoder's video page. The default closed caption setting is enabled for all eight inputs. EAS integration. Emergency Alert System, or EAS, provides the ability to override all eight programs with an EAS message. EAS messages are received from an EAS receiver, such as a Monroe Model R189, that provides a composite video and audio output, along with a trigger for switching. The HDE 8C QAM can be triggered by either a dry contact closure or via a 5 to 12 volt. DC. The EAS feature is functional only when the EAS control is triggered on and the video and audio is detected on the EAS input connectors. Once the EAS trigger or AV input is removed, the encoder will revert back to its normal program. When EAS is activated, the audio and video LEDs will sequentially change colors.